Hello there, my beautiful Scorpio friends. How are you? Welcome back to Sacred Knowledge Tarot. I am so happy and thankful to each and every one of you for being here with me today. So thank you, everyone. And those of you that are brand new to my channel, hello and welcome, my friends. My name is Rhea, and I do these readings every week. Now, Scorpio, I'm going to pull three cards out of my tarot deck to see what message Spirit has for you. Then I'm going to pull a bonus card from the Spirit Animals Oracle deck and an angel number for you as well. So those of you that are watching today, if you've been receiving signs through animals, insects, repeating numbers, or angel numbers, this is going to give you your confirmation and guidance today. So stay tuned for all of this, my beautiful friends. All right, Scorpio, let's pull some cards here and see what Spirit Guides would like you to know today. So we're starting with the moon card. So there's clarity coming into your life here. Your path is going to be illuminated. And I feel those of you that are seeking answers, there's something kind of hidden that you're wanting answers around. This is going to come through for you. Okay. This is a major arcana card. So this energy is prominent. It's in the background. Some of you are feeling this intensely and others are feeling this uh, very subtly. I feel also illusions, any kind of um fog it's all going to be cleared here for you it's just this beautiful energy revelations uh revealing and look at this path that is being revealed to you here is the 10 of cups scorpio so this is a card of emotional fulfillment of satisfaction it's where everything is beautiful it's bright it's warm it's comforting it's home that is the energy that you are working towards and this is the energy that is coming towards you here is the ten of cups now what i want you to do here scorpio is to use your own intuition with my reading so whenever you see my cards popping up on screen i want you to try and interpret them using your own intuition not only will this strengthen your intuition, but you will also receive your own messages. So Ten of Cups, Ace of Swords. So intuition. This is an aha moment. I feel that dreams are heightened right now as well. You're receiving answers and clarity that's coming through the moon card. So you're going to know exactly what direction you need to move in order to reach your goals here, Scorpio. This is a very powerful card. It's bringing in new beginnings for you as well. Okay, so Ace of Swords. So I feel some of you are being inspired right now as you're kind of moving along your journey here. Some of you have taken a time out. I feel you've slowed things down a little bit. Possibly nighttime hours for you are, are very important. This is where you have the most energy, some of you, not all of you. There's this passion inside you as well, Scorpio, and I feel you're naturally passionate, but I feel there's some sort of passion that has come in that is sparking this new idea. This could be your intuition, spirit guides giving you some sort of a message, you receiving answers in some way where it's really going to lead you towards this place. And for some of you, um, I feel that the 10 of cups what is the ten of cups to for you do you know what this place of happiness is for you in your own life what does that look like do you know what it feels like can you put yourself there because i feel that clarification is coming through the moon card for you as well we have the full moon coming up on the 27th of november i have a moon ritual so any of you that are wanting to attend that free event on youtube Mark it down in your calendars. It's going to happen on the 26th, so the day before the full moon, okay? Um, your path is being illuminated, and as it's being illuminated, some of you are going to see some of those shadows surface. So this is where we feel that emotional energy coming in and out. We can feel moodiness, right? We can feel spurts of emotions. Sometimes they just happen randomly. Sometimes things can trigger them. Um, this is where you ground your energy when you're feeling this way, okay, Scorpio? So if you're in a place right now where you're feeling overly emotional, um, 
if you're feeling irritated, if you're feeling any kind of emotion that doesn't feel good, it's all about taking those emotions outside of yourself, taking them out and understanding them, analyzing them. Like where are these coming from and grounding your energy and allowing yourself to really shake them off so you can properly and clearly look at them. Now's the time for you to really nip those shadows in, in the bud here and release yourself. I feel for a lot of you, this is a releasing, letting go energy. Things that no longer serve you, I feel this, well, those are going to be very clear for you at this time. There is this big energy shift that is coming in. We have the sun now moving into the sign of Sagittarius. By the time this video is out, it's probably already in that sign. And I feel this is bringing about a really beautiful energy for us. And I feel for you, Scorpio, because we have the moon card, this is going to be all about you releasing and letting go of things that no longer serve you and allowing room for the new to come in. And this is you allowing room for this beautiful happiness to come into your life. Okay, so I feel some of you are envisioning this. Uh, perhaps you have been praying about this at night. Uh, I also feel that clarity around this. Ask spirit guides to give you clarity around happiness and what that looks like for you. Um, dreaming is going to be really big here as well. So some of you are receiving dreams, messages through dreams. These could be vivid, vivid dreams or lucid dreaming for you. So write these down in a journal, especially if you remember your dreams when you're waking up, Scorpio. When you write them down, you have like... Um, a few pages of dreams, you're going to be able to interpret them. I feel that sometimes dreams come in the in most interesting ways. Um, and then we are basically almost like playing charades with them, trying to figure out what the deeper meaning is. And you're going to get to the deeper meaning. This is what the moon card is letting you know. I feel illusions are kind of... Um, you're seeing behind illusions right now as well. Veils are being lifted. So there's truths that are coming out. This doesn't have to be in your own life. This could be external, meaning the world as well. So I feel there's a, this, this shift happening. The way that you're viewing the world even is shifting in your life. Your belief systems, like a lot of shifts, things that maybe you once believed that are no longer true um, to you, you're releasing and letting go of those. And you're really placing uh, new beliefs new ways of viewing the world, a new perception, a new lens on, you're putting that on, you're really looking at things a little bit differently here. Spirit guides also want you to embrace the night skies here. Um, they're just showing me someone walking around in the middle of the night, like this is when the world is completely quiet because you'll receive answers. You'll see things through a different light. It feels different, right? Uh, being outside in the dark compared to in the morning. Everything is just quiet and more calm. Uh, noises, whether it's like, you know, a ambulance or a cop car going by, that sound is more louder. Um, it's just a different essence in the air in the evening. So I do feel for some of you, this is calming. It's more peaceful. Some of you do love to watch stars at night. Anytime I'm outside and the stars are out, I like to stand and just see the stars. I always see the North Star, right? So we have the number 10 and the number one. So in numerology, you take that two digit to one digit. So one and one. So some of you might be seeing um, angel numbers 1111. This is also a new beginning for you. Some of you are going through a completion cycle where you're meant to release and let go and gain clarity on the path that you're walking down because ultimately this is what's happening here is this energy coming in, clearing that path for you, showing you and revealing you the way that you're actually meant to go. And, you know, whenever we have this happen to us, I always find that some people will resist uh, walking down that clear path because now these shadows are surfacing there's these fears um, there's these doubts like oh I don't know if I can do this I don't know if I'm strong enough to do this I know this is the way but I don't I don't think I can do this I'm just going to stay where I am right now even though I'm not happy where I'm at and I know I'm meant to go here but I just don't think I can handle the amount of different things that are going to come in this is where spirit guides want you to tap into your strength here Scorpio and actually overcome those challenges challenges they're there for you to learn something from also acquire superpowers become that version of you that is going to be able to receive this ten of cups energy on the other side okay this doesn't necessarily have to be something that you're going to receive after a challenge I feel for some of you are already feeling this energy of love and happiness right we have thanksgiving right now that energy is in the air 
you know, spending time with family and friends, that beautiful connective, this deep bond, uh, collaborative energy is all around us. And this is what Spirit is really wanting you to uh, embrace. You're, you're embracing this beautiful energy. Some of you are kind of, now I want to just talk about the completion cycle because when we're compl completing an old cycle, I feel this comes with a lot of shedding. Like it's 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 this energy where it feels very quick. It's fast paced. It's rushed for some of us, not all of us. And I feel that there's a lot of, you know, loose ends that some of you are tying up. You're finalizing things. You're completing projects. Um, this could be the completion of the year because now rolling into January, we have this brand new chapter, this brand new year. I also feel with that completion cycle comes a lot of celebration. There's goals that are being met. Some of you are hitting your um, financial goals, uh, quotas, that sort of thing. So, so there's celebration, perhaps there's a promotion, a bonus. So there's something that some of you are celebrating that's bringing a lot of excitement into your life. And this is the beginning. This marks the beginning of a brand new chapter for you, which is showing up here through the Ace of Swords. So perhaps you have an idea, something that you've been wanting to do and create in your life that is going to bring you that ultimate happiness. Maybe you're wanting to create balance in your life, right? Maybe you're wanting to create harmony within your family, within your workplace, or you're wanting to find um, a better place to work. So this is a part of your plan in January, the upcoming months, right? So I just feel there's this beautiful energy in the air. I feel wishes are going to be met here as well. All of your cups are going to be full. If you're being invited to something, I feel it's going to be a good idea to attend. Um, use discernment here as well and your own... Um, you know, you don't have to do anything you don't want to do here, Scorpio. So I feel that connecting with people for you is going to be uh, really, really good, positive. I feel doors are going to open as well um, through the connections. Networking for you is going to be great. And again, any kind of incoming energy, um, use discernment here, okay? I feel that sometimes we have these energies that come through that can be masked. So we just have to be very careful. Use your own intuition, gut instincts. I will always tell you if there's a good energy or a not so good energy around you. Now, this 10 of cups, this moon energy is very, very interesting with to get together. So I don't know if any of you are wanting to create a family or build a family um, or expand in your family, but I am getting an expansion in your family coming in some way here. So perhaps you have a family member yourself that is getting married and you have this other person coming in. There's a very uh, good energy about this entrance of a person. There could be a child as well. Um, and I don't know if any of you are organizing an event that is going to really uh, be good. And maybe you're going through some sort of turbulent energy with that where things are delayed and you're trying to find answers, trying to quickly um, figure things out here. Things are going to work in your favor here, Scorpio. So I would release any kind of energy around anxiety, worry or stress with how this event is going to go here for you, especially if you're hosting an event. Um, and you're worried about how it's going to pan out. Maybe there's somebody that is coming in um, that could cause some sort of a problem. I want you to release that energy and just envision having a really good time, being in that positive vibration with this, okay? Um, there's a lot of magic in the air. Can you feel that, Scorpio? Like, I just feel this warm, magical energy here. It's... It feels like there's sparkles all around you. And I know Christmas is coming up here. It could be like the feeling of Christmas in the air, but it's more than that. And I'm smelling like really good peppermint smells. Um, really warm, inviting scents that I'm picking up on here. And I'm in my room. I don't have any kind of scents in here in the studio. I've got this. It doesn't have any kind of incense in it, but I'm picking up on these beautiful like Christmas sense. So, you know, it could be just that Christmas in the air and we're feeling just more loving and the malls are packed. We've got this beautiful energy there and, you know, you're clearly seeing things. You know what your game plan is now over the next few months here, Scorpio. So I just feel there's an overall beautiful energy that has come into your life here and this new beginning, this opening, this door that has kind of revealed itself to you, this new path, this idea, this aha moment, this intuition that is leading you towards something that is really going to fill your life with happiness and love. This is what I'm feeling here ultimately. And I do feel for some of you, this has come through a dream. Um, 
and I'm seeing uh, crystal sparkling and shining lights, uh, like rainbow uh, colored. Um, it's just on your wall. I don't know if any of you have any kind of um, sun catchers or any kind of um, crystals on your windows, but I'm picking up on this energy that is reflecting rainbows in your home. So I'm picking up on that as well. So this is a sign, especially if the sun is shining and it's reflecting this rainbow color in your home. It's just a reflective light that is coming in through the Ace of Swords card right now. This is letting you know that your life is going to be filled with color. It is going to be filled with beautiful vibrations. That this is your happy place that is coming towards you here. And some of you have come up with an idea of how to create that for yourself. And or just spiritually, I feel some of you are tuning in spiritually, you are ascending, you're really elevating, you're really understanding yourself a little bit more better on a completely different level. And because of this, you're seeing and you're viewing your world differently. You're also speaking differently. You're speaking more positively about yourself, your experiences, your life. I just feel this is a, an ultimate positive energy that has come through. You're going to see a lot of change through this. I also feel some of you are being given a second chance, a fresh start in life, um, perhaps through you starting your own business, perhaps you even lining up a new job, which is more relaxed, more calm for you. So there's this um, energy of faith and hope coming through the Ace of Wands uh, today, Scorpio. And I really feel that those of you that have been praying, if you've been trying to manifest something, you've been using a lot of positive affirmations, some mantras, this is working in your favor. This is creating this brand new path for you, this path that is going to be full of happiness, of laughter, of joy, of comfort. It's just a warm place to be. It's a place that you can call home. Okay, so this is what is coming through for some of you. Um, I feel some of you have gone through life, like you've had a lot of challenges here, uh, Scorpio. I feel that some of you have had a long journey of, uh, of tough times and this has made you stronger and I'm get, picking up on like a lone wolf energy here. I don't know if any of you have seen a wolf recently in your life or if you feel like you are that lone wolf, um, but it's a good energy. It's not that you don't have connections. It's not that you are, uh, it's like a, a non-dependent energy. It's kind of like you're very independent. You don't need somebody to make you feel whole. You are good. You are happy. You are content. You are grounded. You are growing. It's that kind of energy that's coming through. And I feel there's something new coming into your life maybe you thought of doing that perhaps this idea came like you know what I want to open myself up to love and I want to build this beautiful life for for myself with somebody else I'm now ready to uh, find that love in my life I feel this is also coming in for some of you that you're being aligned to your soulmate your life partner that this energy is going to come into your life and I feel that we have the number 10 we have the number one this can happen in uh, a day, 10 days, this can happen in one month, 10 months, this can happen in a year. I don't think it's going to take 10 years uh, for this to come through, okay? So I just feel that it's nearby, love for you, Scorpio. So I just feel that your life is going to change in a really, really big way here. So I've got skunk spirit, know your worth here, Scorpio. So anytime I pull bonus cards, I always find that these cards will... Um, pick up on energies that I haven't picked up on and it will tie the reading together. So anything that I have missed, these cards are gonna pick up on and this is the Spirit Animals Oracle deck for you. So Skunk Spirit, know your worth, Scorpio. So have any of you recently seen a skunk? If you have, this is your confirmation. If you haven't, you're seeing one now on your screen. This also comes with the number 54. So perhaps number 54 is of significance to you. Uh, Scorpio, this is also giving me this date of May 4th or April 5th. Um, five plus four is nine. So the number nine in numerology is always tied to fulfillment, attainment, and fruition. So I do feel that um, there are some manifestations, prayers being answered here. So just be mindful of this energy. I'm going to read you the interpretation here from the guidebook. All right, so what do you value here, Scorpio? What do you believe in? Is your best, most authentic self on display right now? 
Skunk Spirit comes in as a reminder that you can be proud of who you are and what you have accomplished. Know your worth here, my friends. Not everyone will agree with you or share your values, but you can walk with your head high, knowing that when you express your integrity, others can feel your authenticity and will be inspired by it. Be who you are, and if your reputation precedes you, good. You have much to be proud of, and Skunk Spirit wants you to be your best self and true to yourself. So I feel this is in alignment with your reading today. I'm going to read you the protection message. So this also comes with a protection message for you, Scorpio, and Spirit Guides are calling me to read that to you as well. So not everyone will appreciate you. Many people have issues of their own to address, and you may trigger something in them. But if so, no matter. Skunk Spirit calls you to be fully yourself without apology. Now is the time for honesty and admitting that something does not sit right for you. You deserve self-respect that comes when you courageously choose to stand up for yourself and speak your truth in love. Remember who you are and what really matters to you and act with integrity. You will be so glad that you did. So look at that, Scorpio. Skunk spirit. Spirit guides are really wanting you to embody this energy. All right, so I'm now going to pull an angel number for you as well. So some of you have been seeing angel numbers, repeating numbers. This is going to give you your confirmation and guidance today. So look at this. We already have one that jumped out. We've got one, two, three, four, taking steps. So take things one at a time. Don't rush yourself here, Scorpio. So if you've been seeing the number 12, uh, sorry, one, two, three, four, this is going to give you your confirmation today. Following the master plan. So follow that plan, whatever master plan you have right now, Scorpio, aligned goals, making progress, path of faith and faith and consistent action. Have faith that things are going to work for you. Take things step by step here, okay? So one, two, three, four is your angel number today. All right, so this is your reading. I hope it resonates for you. If it does, please comment below, hit that like button. And if you're brand new to my channel and you're enjoying my content, please consider subscribing. Other than that, I wanted to wish you all a beautiful day and thank you so much for watching.